I finished building the recumbent bike. The build is finished. This is the bike. I've been using the action bent as I was building my recumbent bike. This bike is two pounds heavier than the action bent, but it has 26 inch wheels front and rear where the action bent has a 20 inch. So there's going to be a, a little bit of a weight difference in that. So here, let's take a close look at this. So the, uh, the action's up front and it has uh, a three by eight on it right now. And I have friction shifters set up for it and it works really good it gets all the gears I have a disc brake up front because the fork came with the disc brake mount so I had to go with the disc brake and I used an offset bracket up front here to make the front dropout work efficiently I have a seat post on the top here holding the crank in place with a barrel nut and the adjustment done with the seat post adjustment. Everything works out pretty good, actually better than I expected. I'm using the bottle cage holder to hold the angle iron and it's not an iron to use as to hold the angle aluminum in place and I have metal supports going down to the rear axle mount and I have a rack in back and I'm using pool noodles and an exercise pad for a backrest and it's working out really well It's uh, surprisingly nice. I kind of like it. I haven't ridden it yet. It's just set up. Everything's functional. So I've been riding the action bent. It's been good. I might sell it. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's always nice to have two bikes in case I need a service one. So those are the bikes. The recumbent bikes. So I'll try and get a ride in as soon as I can. It's a little late right now. So. All right, I thought I'd let you guys know it's built. It's ready to ride.